going on, everybody? I want to give you a heads up that uh, I did go ahead and get loaded, finally. It took eight hours. I sat there. Eight fucking hours to get loaded. And I think I've only got like seven pallets. And that's a total of three stops on there, too. Three stops in Arizona. Isn't that crazy? I think I'm only maxing out at like 14,000 pounds or some shit. I mean, there's nothing really on this trailer at all. For 1,300 mile run, hey, whatever. But still, eight fucking hours, man. I'm like, God damn. Let's see, uh, I got loaded. And then you have to go back to the other gate to get your paperwork. Hell, I waited almost two hours just for the paperwork. That's a nightmare. I, I, I don't, I can honestly say I don't like that place. But, um, everything's going good so far. Got five hours and 36 minutes left on my deal in t Um, let's see, I put in for my Opti stop, which is love so I can get fuel. Got 79 miles to go for that. Uh, this load's not due until the 23rd. So I don't know if I'm going to crash it out tonight because I didn't get much sleep last night or I'm going to push it on a little longer, but I'm not sure. But I'll keep y'all updated. Later! What's going on, everybody? Um, I recorded a, a short clip this morning, but um, I'm probably not going to post it because it just sounds like shit having some audio issues. Uh, I bought this damn headset, you know, the wire, the Bluetooth headset, so I can talk on the road, you know, whoever calls or whatever like that. And I was like, well, hell, I could use it for recording two videos, right? Well, audio just doesn't seem to fucking be all that great on it. It just sounds really distorted. So right now I have it off and I'm just talking directly to it, to the camera try it this way, but I'm going to end up investing in another mic, a plug-in mic, until I can get my uh, GoPro. When I get my GoPro, I'll be all set up for a different different view, different mount. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to see how this sounds. But anyways, I stayed the night in Mead, Mead, Kansas. Um, had an awesome breakfast, well-deserved breakfast. I've been eating Subway the last two fucking days, and, and yeah, I had uh, biscuits and gravy, large biscuit and gravy, eggs and bacon, and a glass of milk. Man, I was in heaven. I'm still full. But yeah, it's uh, 11-20 of 2017, and um, I got four hours and 12 minutes left on my eight-hour clock, and I have to take a 30-minute break. I think I'm going to take a 36-minute break coming up to my next fuel stop, 36 miles. I am in New Mexico. Um, beautiful day out. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better day. Let's see, it's 64 degrees. Got the AC on. This truck runs like a dream. I will be. I will say that this truck runs really good. Nice and smooth. Um, handles bumps really well. Uh, I like it. But like I say, they're getting ready to trade it in, so I'll probably get something else. Um, hopefully, it'll be a new truck. So I ain't got to deal with any bullshit. But um, I'm kind of confused about this load because I'm not really confused, but it delivers on Thanksgiving Day. Um, it must be a special order or something. Because I only got like seven pallets. And one of my stops only gets like two pieces. So, yeah. <laughs> but if I, I think I'm running really early. Um, I'll do the total calculation of mileage on my next fuel stop to see how far I got. But I got to the 23rd, and it's only Monday, you know, and I got to deliver um, until Thursday. So if I'm running a day ahead or a day and a half ahead, I'm going to request a repower so I ain't got to sit and waste money. Somebody else can pick this load up and deliver it, and they can give me something else going somewhere else so I can stay rolling. I, you know, I want to keep the my, I want to keep the tires rolling. I want that, I want that cents per mile to keep on 
trucking, you know, that's what I'm here for. Money. I'm not here to sit in a fucking bunk and watch TV. I can do that on my 10 hours off. Ah! <laughs> but yeah, beautiful day. New Mexico, middle of the desert, I guess. Pretty much nothing out here. But, um, yeah, about 34 miles, man. I'll be in my fuel stop and then I'll do the, the total mileage of what I got left. The last stop I got is in Tucson, Arizona. So, we will see. I'll keep y'all updated. Later. stop. What a nightmare that was. I don't know if it's just me. I got the shittiest fucking luck in the world or what. I don't know. But anyways, I pull up. You know, there's all kinds of fuel islands available. I pull up and, uh, well, the satellite one, for some reason, doesn't want to work. So the, the driver's side one, the main one, is working. And then, um, so I asked the maintenance guy. He was out there cleaning the islands with the power washer. And I asked him, I said, hey, man, the satellite don't want to work. And he's like, oh, it probably, the, sat, the uh, signal that's above in the awning probably didn't connect with your truck. So you need to back up, pull forward. So after I put the hoses down, you know, you don't want to hang them up because it'll cancel you out. So you put them on the ground. But in all that time after I done backed up and pulled forward, it was too much time. So it canceled me out. It said basically, you know, they didn't want to, thinking that you, uh, left the pumps in and on, so basically it's a safety feature so nobody else can get fuel under your car. So I said, please see cashier. So I went over there and seen the cashier. She's like, oh yeah, I turned you back on. I reinstated it. Um, I said, because the fuel, the the um, satellite wasn't working. I don't know what the maintenance guy wanted me to do. She was like, yeah, you're good. So I went over there. Still wasn't working. Awesome. <laughs> so um, went back in there. She was like, well, you're going to have to run your card again. And I'm like, I don't think so. If I remember correctly, running the card again after you've already swiped and hung up, you have to call the fuel department. And um, I didn't want to go through all that because, you know, when you call in, I mean, you're literally on hold for like fucking 20 fucking minutes, man. And I just didn't feel like sitting there for 20 minutes on the phone. I got 30 gallons in the main tank, so I'm good. I just wanted my fucking shower. You know, I was going to get 60 gallons so I can get a shower because I plan on stopping at the Flying J in about 300 miles. Well, I go back in there and she's like, uh, did it work for you? I said, no. I said, I reached my fuel and she says, oh, then you need to call. I said, yeah, no. I said, I didn't feel like it. I said, I just pulled in here so I can get 50, 60 gallons of fuel so I can get a shower because I was planning on stopping at a pilot or Flying J. And she was like, and, and then I said, uh, so I said, you owe me a shower, right? And she was like, you know what, for all the shit you just been through and all the inconvenience, she says, I'll give you a couple showers. <laughs> I said, well, that's fine. I said, I don't I don't really need that. I'm not asking for that. I'm just asking for, you know, um, what I come here for. I come here to get 50, 60 gallons so I can get a free shower. So I can shower my ass and make the ass tonight. And she said, well, I'll just give you a couple. So she hooked me up with, like, two showers. You know, they're good for, like, 10 days. And any pilot and flying day, so... Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck? So, yeah, your, your fuel tanks, you got full fuel tanks. Your primary tank is your pack or your uh, driver's side tank, which would be the left side. Um, that is your primary tank. Because the right side, all it does is it's like a vacuum. Well, they used to be like a vacuum. I don't know. They might actually have like a motorized pump on them now. I have no idea. But basically, when the driver's side gets low, it sucks it out of the passenger side. It, so that equals them out. So basically, it won't be sucking anything out until the driver's side is down to equal level to the passenger side. So that's
that's kind of how that works. <laughs> so I have enough fuel. Now that got, now I told you I'd do the mileage. Now my next stop is my first stop in uh, Arizona. It's only 643 miles. If I go straight through, I could be there tonight. But I can't. I'm going to have to call and see if they're going to let me be early. If they're not going to let me be early, then I need to repower because I'm not sick. Because basically I'm driving 300 miles to that flying day. That will pretty much max out my time for today, leaving me with like an hour left of drive time. So I'm going to pull in there, wash my ass, eat a good meal, blah, blah, blah. But then I only have like 300 miles left to go. You know, 340 miles left. Good morning ahead. Like 340 miles to go before my first drop. But it's not supposed to be there until Thanksgiving Day. So if they won't let me come early, then they're going to have to repower this with somebody else. Because I really don't feel like sitting in a truck for... Let's see, it'll be, oh, what is today, the 21st? No, today's the 20th, so it'll be the 21st, 22nd. Got to sit in the truck for two fucking days. I don't think so. So I made this 1,300-mile run, and, oh, what did, well, hell, I left last night. So, yeah. Well, I left yesterday. At what, two? Almost three o'clock because I sat there for eight hours. So, yeah. Drove until 11 last night. Got up and then I'm driving, you know, most of the day today. I'll be pulling in here shortly. Another 300 miles. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's the deal on that. They're going to have to, they're going to have to get me a repower or something. Get me rolling somewhere else. Because this motherfucker homie ain't sitting for two days in a truck. At least that I don't want to. Now, I don't have any control of what they do. But I can sure express my fucking opinion and my goddamn concern about it. You bet your ass I will. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about anybody's feelings. God damn it, you going to sit me in a fucking truck for two days and not make any money? I don't think so. We got, we got to figure this out. There's got to be somebody in the area that needs to get home or has to do something on Thanksgiving or something that needs this fucking load. You know what I'm saying? I don't need it. I'm not going to sit there. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll voice my concern on that if, I, if need be. But hopefully, it don't come to that. But, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know if I'm yelling long enough because, because of the fucking audio issues. <laughs> I think it's better without the headset. But I'm actually fucking screaming because of the truck is loud. But I I will keep you updated. I'm gonna drive for let's see, two, four, about another five hours. That'll leave an hour and thirty minutes left of my DOT clock, and then I'm calling it a night, and then tomorrow I'll call dispatch. Tell them to give me another load. Alright, we'll talk to you later. Later! going on everybody I made it to uh, my destination um, in New Mexico don't ask me where the fuck I'm at <laughs> somewhere in New Mexico where I wanted to be let's put it that way um, let's see I got 350 fucking miles to go and I'm at my first stop so there's a pilot which is basically the next fuel stop for me uh, it's like, got like 10 miles probably from the first stop. So I'm going to fucking go there tomorrow, straight to the pilot. It'll take me about five, six hours to get there. And then I'm going to uh, request a repower because it's it's not due till the 23rd. So, but yeah, I just got done. I took a shower, washed my funky ass. 
Uh, had a $20 meal at fucking Denny's, but that's okay. It wasn't Subway. Um, I had, uh, damn, it's dark in here. I had a T-bone steak. You know what? Motherfucker, I just realized that. What the fuck? I was supposed to have T-bone steak and shrimp. It's supposed to come with six shrimp. And I didn't get no fucking shrimp. Oh, the fuck. See, it don't pay to order something expensive tired. Damn. It was supposed to be a T-bone steak and six shrimp. With two sides. So I got a T-bone steak, T-bone steak, broccoli, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Um, comes with garlic toast. And I ordered a side of uh, guac, not guacamole, avocado. I love avocado. I love guacamole. I make a mean guacamole dip. But, um... Uh, I ain't had avocado in a while. Good for your skin, man. All that vitamin E. Good for your hair, nails, all that shit. Teeth? No, not teeth. Um, fucking shrimp, man. That's just the way my day's been going. Anyway, I did 541 miles today. Not too bad. I like to keep it between five to six hundred miles. Anything past that is just, I mean, you're pushing it, pushing it, like holding your bladder and not eating and all kinds of shit. I'm not all about that. I'm about fucking, you know, if I got to piss, I'm going to piss. If I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. <sighs> but, um, fucking shrimp, man. That's why I got it, because I was like, damn, steak and shrimp? Mmm, mmm. How the hell did I not see that? <sighs> anyway, so yeah, I'm getting ready to go to bed. Keep y'all updated. Later.